Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rochelle. This is Dexter. And this is Brampton Gardener. On today's episode, it's very exciting. Um, it's planting time. So we have finally crossed the threshold where it's safe to plant out and I'm very, very excited. I'm overwhelmed at this point. Like I don't even, don't really even know where to start. Um, so I have no idea what's actually going to be in this video because I'm gonna be kinda all over the place. I'm just gonna be seeing what strikes uh, my fancy in the moment. Yesterday I did go and plant up my tomatoes in the grow bag, so I will show you that. Um, that will be a little clip in the video. Uh, I will have more, um, if you wanna see more of how I do my tomatoes in the grow bags, I have the video from last year. I will, um, Hopefully remember to pop it up on the screen. If not, it will be in the trailer um, at the end of this video. And uh, I don't know, I'm just so excited. <laughs> let's go see, um, let's go see where we're at right now and then see what we get done today. And I'll check back in um, at the end of the video. <laughs> let's do this. are um, almost all of my tomatoes. <laughs> so I have a few that, I have a couple, I have two that are still way too small to go in these pots. So it's gonna wait it out, but everything else is in and ready. And you can see that I've hidden the, the plant labels over here. Um, somebody, not to mention any names, decided it would be fun to steal the plant. Plant tags, yeah. Produce aisle is filling in. I did pot up a few of the Tom Thumb lettuce into this one. This is another one of my hibiscus. Sorry, I keep hitting the bags behind me. This is another one of my hibiscus that will be coming out. Uh, it's just there temporary. I just threw it in the pot. And kale, lettuce is doing really good. We've already been eating on um, some of this lettuce. You can see I've been cutting it like uh, cut and come again. Oh, this pak choy is starting to bolt. I gotta, gotta use that up. <laughs> uh, okay, coming around here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so here is one of my other nursery um, trays. You'll recognize this from one of my garden tours up in the plant room. These things are really tiny. I'm not I'm probably going to be planting. Um, so these are the other tomatoes that aren't ready to go out yet. Uh, the morning glory vines probably already, but and the zinnias, but uh, some of the stuff, no. These are just magnificent. Oh, and here's my mystery tomato that I mentioned that was coming up in my petunia. <laughs> um, my ginger is coming up and doing pretty good. Uh, Loofah, caladium, uh, tomatoes. Oh, my beans, they're doing amazing. And my little um, cucumelon down in the corner. So today I'm probably gonna be focusing on some of my peppers in the pots. So you can see the pots here, I'll have soil in them already. I already filled them and they're just waiting to go. This big green pot is probably gonna get one of the um, dwarf tomatoes in it and then maybe some herbs, we shall see. So yeah, this is this is what's going on out here. I've got a lot of seedlings. What are you up to, Bex? What are you up to? What shenanigans are you gonna get into today?
Okay, so hopefully you can see me. <laughs> um, I planted my loofah in this pot. So I just stuck the two, um, there's two of them in here. And you can see how incredibly long their leaves are, the vines. So I'm gonna just take them one by one and try to weave them in the trellis. Got like a second branch because I did prune these back. So. So you can see it comes all the way up here and it's got a lot of buds on it already. So we're going to be seeing flowers really soon. So next up is my um, old fountain slash planter and in it I just have, I put the pansies and the stalks as my cool flowers earlier in the season. Uh, these should do fine all summer long, these this two stalks here. The pansies, once it gets really hot, they're probably going to die out on me. So I have these, which are the Livingston daisies and they're a succulent that's like super drought tolerant and I bought the seeds and I grew them specifically to go in this fountain because it's really hard in the summer it doesn't have a big reservoir um, it's very hard to keep it nice and nice and hydrated so I'm just gonna come in and plant them see how many it needs it's gonna be tricky So we're going to have a quick overview of everything that I have gotten planted up today. So that is going to include this little container. I got those added in. I'll water them in in a few minutes. Then we got our loofah up here started um, growing. I put two perennial peas down there. We'll see if they do anything. And I did put in a butterfly pea here. So it might be a little too much, but oh well. Uh, this pot is, I, I think a different pot's going to go there. I just kind of set it there and I'm going to grow um, maybe my cucumber on that. We'll see. So nothing along here. Pepper's done. So we have New Mexico 6, cayenne, red bell pepper, two red cherry, and this one is a, I don't know. I think it's the Bolivian rainbow. I'm hoping it's the Bolivian rainbow. But somehow the label smudged off on me. And then those three are all ancho. And then we have the beautiful tower gardens. So that one's looking really good starting to perk up a little bit it looked a little rough when I first planted it sorry buddy but things are starting to perk up a little bit we shall see Dexter has left it alone thankfully there's the other one and yes I do need to wash the pots but that's not gonna happen yet so this one here is a calla lily with three petunias um, these are the mystery peppers and I got to go back and try to watch find which video um, I transplanted them into that pot because I can't I can't find which ones those are here I have two three of my um, purple bush beans and I'm gonna put something in the middle but I'm not sure quite what it is yet or I might leave it but I might put um, I was thinking maybe cilantro we'll see I don't know and then down here I have two of the big jam peppers and one um, shishito then I have my stevia and two of the shishitos I think yeah I think I did the shishitos there as well and then this was the earlier in the video I did my two um, tomatoes this one is a golden balcony I think this one as well but it did not have a label <laughs> but the, and the color of the leaf is a little bit different so I don't know if it's just because this one was getting more Sun or not uh, then down here I planted some cilantro and um, some arugula and a couple of chives and then this one has my calla lily and three purple petunias dark purple petunias just beautiful and then three alyssum from the garden so those should fill out so that is what I got accomplished today <laughs> my stuff that's sitting here still waiting to go out and this stuff is still a little bit too small to go in my little uh, tomatoes and stuff and then I have quite a few things that are gonna go out into the front garden tomorrow so I think that's gonna be it for I might pop a few things in here and there but I think that's it my main planting for today so uh oh yeah don't forget to hit the like subscribe and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this this is this is so exciting <laughs> i'm waiting for this for months and months and months so see you next time
around in time. It's playing time. Ah, it's wiggling out of my arms. Say hi to everybody. Someone say bye. You gonna come say goodbye? Yeah. <laughs> he does. Say bye.